ma äkki saan ta õhku ära siis sina sidad alt minema käru alt ära, see on kõige tähtsam edasi on suva Well, here goes nothing. It's either this setup or I'm just gonna pull the thing off the trailer with Joseph. Cow. It doesn't look like much, but heavy as hell. 1.5 tons. Bunch of steel, guys. Bunch of steel. Mm. Gotta get it in there somehow. And that one will not fit. So. So. I'm not sure why I put that OSB down there. Let's just call it uh, momentary insanity. That will not do anything useful. I may however have an idea that 
might remotely work. My ideas suck, but sometimes they work. Man, why do Russian electronics always look like they're about to burn down? What the hell? No wonder there's so many fires there. It's always something burning. I mean, what could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Not a thing. Zero. Attempt two. Nothing will go wrong this time, I, I promise. Check this crap out, guys. Pro 
the entire concrete floor is moving. I have a nightmare scenario for you guys. What if that thing were to break through these planks and just drop into the tunnel below there? Let's hope these planks hold. I don't know guys, there was a major pop. Yeah, I think it's this one. Let's replace that. What the crap, I need to replace all of them. What's up? Got that late finally. 
Finally, currently it's July, not sure when this video will be out, but I've been eyeballing for this lake ever since April. Yeah, the owner agreed to not sell it to anyone else. So he kind of held on for it for several months until I finally sorted out the transport issue. So the story behind the transport, gonna be quick about it. At first I tried to hire some company to get this thing here, but the cheapest option I got was $600, which was almost half as much as this lake was worth. Essentially, I only had one other option. Get some sort of a bigger vehicle and a car trailer. But um, to haul this trailer, you need special trailer's license, which I did not have. Went to driving school just to get the trailer's license. And that took about two months. You know, I'm really glad I did. Because as I was hauling this home today, all of a sudden, an undercover cop vehicle pulled up behind me, flashed his headlights and switched on the red and blue lights. So the guy pulled me over, asked for a driving license after about five minutes. Have a nice day, sir. Everything is in order. Okay. Uh, now just imagine if I did not have my trailer's license, I would be probably bent over somewhere in Gulag, enjoying my afternoon snack. So let's quickly talk about the lake itself. Well, number one, it's Soviet, probably older than I am. Number two, it um, well has a lot of steel, or rather gas iron. Thing weighs like 1500 kilos. For, for its size, man, it's really heavy. So the model name, I think, if I recall, was 1A616 Stalling something. Honestly, who the heck cares? As long as the thing works nicely, I'm good with it. The guy showed me how to operate it, but, uh, well, I already forgot. So we're gonna have to relearn everything, and yeah. The thing even has an automatic feeder. I think it was these two levers. This thing should automatically drive that way and this thing should automatically do that. Uh, this is this is to start and stop, uh, I think. No idea, no idea, no idea, no idea, no idea. So the guy was selling this for 2.3 grand. I pretty much offered the guy two grand. He thought about it a bit and agreed. In addition to the lathe, I also got some cutting tools with it. Sure, these will be useful, maybe. And a whole box of um, well stuff. A lot of a lot of stuff. Beefy drill bits, wood. Oh, this is the collection pan under it. So guys, I'm thinking uh, in this video, let's try to fire this thing up. This unit does require three phase power. So four, 400 volts. Uh, currently it has this, why am I talking to myself? Currently it has this um, Soviet plug, which I do need to change out into European stop grabbing European power this yeah. 400 volts but the thing with that is the shop currently has no such power so before we even get to fire it up we need to get that 400 volts up in this joint. Luckily though, it's not far. It's actually just uh, behind the wall. So there's a workshop there. And our European power is there. Here we have three-phase power. 
and I just need to hook it up get a drench growing somewhere here then somehow go through this bit I'm thinking I'm gonna dig a bit through a really long hole through one of these boulders and that way I can get that power in there once I get the wire to the workshop gonna install some type of electrical panel here because um, if you guys recall I still have some unfinished business in this workshop on the electrical side so we're gonna finish that as well then uh, fire this thing up try to figure out what does what and finally I'm gonna try really hard to not die because these tools are extremely dangerous a bunch of people have died if something gets caught on the spindle then uh, you're kind of smashed potatoes that is not cool now if this video gets kind of too long i'm gonna do a follow-up video on this lathe i do wanna kind of make it look nicer currently it looks like it's been dropped out of a airplane or something the guy told me that it needs some service nothing much but a little bit but it's gonna sit here for a while i'm thinking several months because currently i want to focus on the cabin so this pile of cast iron has to wait so see you soon Oh guys, it's been a while, I think about two and a half months since uh, we parked that thing there. I mean, it really has some freaking rust on it. What a joke. But anyway, I think I got all the necessary stuff for it now. So I got the beef cake cable. That thing, I think this is the main switch, fault, circuit, protector, some three phase uh, switches, single phase, three phase socket, connector, bunch of sockets and stuff. Not even sure if I'm gonna use this, I just kind of happened to stumble on it. Same deal with that and some boxes boxes for spark i didn't really bother to buy a bigger one because i have a bunch of these smaller ones and um, i just need to fit these three here these two here then it should be fine ideally it would be better if they were all in a single box but why buy stuff when you can use stuff you have but anyway i need to run a line from that post somehow through this bit I'm gonna say it outright guys it's not gonna be easy from that point to that point it will be a cake but from this area we're gonna have a bunch of root issues i'm pretty sure there is also a stump there most likely we'll manage that but um, going through this bit is gonna be a challenge i think the rock wall is probably a meter thick so i don't even have a long enough drill bit for that may need to go in between the rocks or something but let's uh, cross that bridge when we get there fire up the hole get that trench going and um, take it from there evil Mean.
but one more is already broken, so I just need to break this as well, and uh, at least they now look the same. I'm gonna make, trying to make sure because last time I installed it the wrong way so the bucket was facing that way I mean how, how stupid can you be right Quick attach would be great, but uh, it's not really hard. It just takes a little bit more time. Okay, before I can uh, proceed, I have to fulfill my civil duty of being the most awesome uncle ever. Ja, ja, istu, istu paremini natuke. Tuleb 
don't even need to go up the platform. You can just you can just swing like so. The speed is kind of lame though. Yeah, <laughs> Moments to live by. The vacation. This, this is ridiculous. Holy cow, man, quite a jungle there. I think I also pushed this rock in a bit. Actually, the whole wall was moving, yeah. And this, this wall has no rebar or anything in it. It's very easy to just push over. Should not try that. But yeah, this jungle, man, is a really tough one. Kudos, bro. Gotta love those old Yanmar hoes. Real droopers, them. Um, you noticed I was pulling on something here. I guess this is the grounding rod. I mean, this one. 
Uh, for some reason, I was positive. 100% positive. That uh, that rod went that way. Because when I did a trench for that crap house there, I also installed electricity in that building. Somewhere here was, uh, was that grounding rod. So I'm guessing this uh, post actually has two grounding rods. And maybe one of them is just not in use anymore. Oh, yes, exactly that. I guess uh, the one I hit was the new grounding rod. Whoops. Yeah, looks like there's two of them there. I suppose they kind of just go around the uh, post. But uh, it did not damage it, it just kind of yanked on it a bit. So I think it's fine. And there is something to it. Digging a trench with a shovel while the temperature is like plus 32. Man, I, I need a drink. Or 10. Uh. Wow. This is better than sex. It's just some stupid no-name brand, like $20 or something like that. Also have these uh, Fiskars. These are complete junk guys, don't buy these. I think like two weeks into use, the jaw, it's just kind of broken in half. I welded it back, but this is junk guys, don't buy this. You can't even got the little ones anymore. And this, this side is just, this is just hopeless. I think the... And it was, it was like 100 bucks or maybe even more. Yeah, I would rather buy the no-name brand once per year than, than spend four times more money on uh, Crap that don't work. I'm gonna feel sorry for that chain. He's about to meet his maker. <sighs> yes, money. Thirty ton tractor, man. Why do you need to go fifty miles per hour? I don't get it. Okay, this bit now. Now this is the longest trail bit uh, that I have, but. Um, not wide enough so um, I might just need to go and buy a new drill bit I don't know maybe we can go between the rocks stupid roots is out and then it's just kind of going right under the concrete floor bro there's no water there what the what are you trying to achieve 
Probably going that way. There is a gap there. I remember there were gaps other on the other side as well. Maybe I can just squeeze myself between a gap from somewhere. There's like a tiny hole, but there is also a tiny rock there. Uh, I think I got it. Great success so far. Like 30 centimeters into the boulder wall without any missionary bit. Going great. Yeah, the bottom one is not moving, but this one is. Definitely don't want to remove that. That's promising, that's like half a meter already. But I'm not sure how deep this freaking wall is. It might be like a meter, maybe more. Just check it out. It looks pretty promising to me. You know, it's quite possible that I might just end up under the concrete floor. So that's not really going to help me. There's something going on here, but... we can see something. What a glory hole. I honestly can't tell if I'm if I'm even on the right spot there. Finally, finally, it took me like three hours and the best part is that this giant wall did not collapse on top of me. That's like um, 
minor bonus. By the way, massive uh, winds, but uh, it's super hot and super dry right now. But uh, just moments ago, the weather station, they, they put out the state warning. Massive freaking hail and thunderstorms are heading my way. So if those uh, weather apes are not cooking up BS again, then we might see some action today. Man. Too bad I don't have any more of this. Soviet cable tunnel. You know, by standard, you don't really need to add any uh, cable tunnel to this sort of a cable. Uh, it's designed to be underground as is. You can add, but um, it's not necessary. At least that's what has been told to me. I'm pretty sure this is a water pipe. Should also work though. Well, it was either this or I would tape a bunch of broken pockets together. Hey, 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 Be right back. Gonna go fire up the sauna. Okay, I think this will do just fine. Went pretty well this. Apart from hammering into that wall too much. I mean, there's a lot of more cracks now. But uh, that center rock definitely moved inwards. Bunch of cracks up there. This was here before. Didn't it? I'm sure it will survive for a couple of more days. But in the meantime. Let's continue this project.
Soviet furniture panel, guys. This is the ugliest crap I've ever seen. But <laughs> it's also perfect. Man, this is the ugliest crap I've ever laid my eyes upon. Maybe it will look better with a bunch of electrical panels. Does it look okay? Send me a raven if it looked cool or not. But in the meantime, let's just start adding these uh, electrical boxes. being a dude what's your problem bro bro I guess the weather apes were were not lying not great this Gonna be a bad one. There goes the There goes the sky. Oh boy. It's not great. Not great at all. All of a sudden it's just so silent. Is this the silent before the storm? You know, maybe the thing is just passing and uh, it's just, just kind of flipping me off right now. Maybe it's not gonna dump its load after all. It's moving incredibly fast though. Come on, bro. Dump your load already. I'm bored. Don't take things out of content. I know that sounded weird. Get over it. Guys, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking, let's go get a bigger box. It's gonna be an incredibly weird hack if I wanna extend this to another electrical panel. Be right back. Gonna go get a bigger box. What the hell? So from um, east to west, we got the main switch, fault circuit protector, a three phase breaker, another three phase breaker, and um, three, three one phase. I think that's pretty much it. At least according to the code, you don't really need anything else. Could we'll also install um arc. Arc vault breaker. But um yeah, they're kinda expensive right now, so I'm just gonna wait. Maybe they will get cheaper. I think it was about 400 bucks for a single breaker. And besides, the code does not demand it. This on the other hand uh, is necessary. The code does demand that thing is mostly designed to save lives. But anyway, let's try to hook this uh, panel up. You know, it's relatively easy. They kind of follow a zigzag pattern. So the horses will come from this line, all three phases will be hooked up to the bottom, then they will jump over to this thing from the top, and then uh, again from the bottom will be distributed between the remaining breakers and again from the top they will go where they're needed now these things mostly get phase connections only we get the neutral up here or 
ground. So I'm not really sure if uh, you guys in the States have the same setup, but I'm assuming it's something similar. What I've heard though is that you guys usually have 120 volts on your standard socket and 240 for high powered equipment. But here we have 230 or something in the standard sockets. And in these types of sockets, we usually have about 400 volts. Yeah, 240 up to 415. Yeah, this is even bigger, man. <laughs> nice. 16 amps, 32 amps. But I, I won't be able to use this uh, socket because uh, my main switch is not powerful enough. But anyway, let's uh, hook this thing up, guys. Yeah, great idea. We got our three main faces and ground. Okay, got them three phases nicely hooked up. Uh, let's deal with the ground now. Now, ideally, it would be good if the ground hooked up somewhere here, but it's not really important. I can hook it up here as well. It just has to go through that thing before going somewhere else. No, I think these are not breached like two different maybe this side is meant for ground and that side is meant for neutral okay so that's bridged that's not bridged that's not that's bridged 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 okay so there's a separate line here you can use that there's a separate line here as well. And then this whole section is a separate line. Uh, fantastic. And it means I don't need that thingy there. Bye bye. Like a hole there. Sure. Now maybe I can use this to cover the crap. I mean, the gap, one, two, three. I'm just gonna set some placeholder clowns. It's just gonna bridge the gap. Oh man, this doesn't fit. Guess I don't need more. I'm not gonna hook this up to anything. I'm pretty sure I don't even need it. Just to fill that gap, no other purpose. What? Plastic crap. Why won't you lock? I guess there was a reason why this thing was like only 20 bucks. It's junk, man. Oh, yeah, sure, broken. Man, that thing just broke for no reason. I didn't even touch it. All I did was install that uh, cable and that's it. What a clown world. Can you like um, harden 
or something faster maybe by the way last time i used that tool the glue gun it was when i was back in uh, well i'm not really sure what type of school that would be in english i'm guessing it's something between high school and college maybe or special college basically when i was learning it back in 2014 that's when i last used this tool it's like nine years ago that's a lot of time anyway from here we need to go uh, there Next up, the three faces need to travel. Still need to install this thing. That's about it, guys. All the wires that uh, will come from somewhere somewhere all the faces will be hooked up here individually the grounding will go on this clamp I can extend it over to this clamp as well if um, that's not enough and from this to there I have the neutral pretty easy that so maybe you guys remember in my episode 2 you can't remember, but it's irrelevant. In the video where I was uh, doing some electricity work in the workshop, I did say that I want to have some sockets on a separate breaker. Currently, every socket in this room is on a single breaker. If I wanted to use two tools at the same time, for example, if I did some welding there, and suddenly the douchebag um, compressor decided to just go off then that would pull more than the breaker would well allow which would also cut the power now to fix that situation I need some extra breakers in the workshop and that's why we have that thing there uh, by the way the lights they are on a separate breaker so if the sockets went out the lights would still be lit. Let's uh, run a wire somewhere here and power this one through a separate breaker. And let's run a separate wire somewhere here as well because I want this to be on a separate breaker and this as well. But basically the black sockets I installed, I want them to be, I want them to be on a separate breaker. Man, check this crap out. Never buy this air hose, guys. Yeah, you install it, everything looks nice and solid. But uh, when you put 10 bars in the thing, it just shrinks. How can they sell this as an air hose if the thing shrinks? I don't get it. It even pulls the freaking nails out of the wall. It shrinks so heavily. Seems to only happen at corners, though. Like, check this out. That thing should be in the corner there. Shrank like half a meter. What the crap. Yeah guys, never buy that type of hair hose. It's cheap, but it's not worth it. If you can afford it, then uh, get the aluminium. Blue aluminium air line. Also these clamps, they can't hold for shite. Literally, these are junk guys. If you have a better alternative, please do let me know. I mean, I've even put two on each connection and uh, I, I regularly just have to tighten them up. I did also buy something this one, hoping that it would be better. But sadly, this is too large and this is the smallest one they sell.
very surprised I have not hit my fingers yet. I want this though. So this thing will go outside, it's uh, I assume this one will go to the welding table sockets. That thing will go outside to power the automatic lights. So I need to hook this up to a separate breaker. This uh, this can't be under the um, power duals. So basically I need to remove this thing completely. Hook this one up to a separate box and uh, then hook this one up to this box. But before I do that, uh, let's get that second line going. door shut up you're gonna hear the cracking going on all over the place and it's not that spider farting yeah every time i put that compressor to the max it feels like this entire workshop is just gonna collapse all that cracking sound but it's the airline it's it's moving or shrinking or doing something i don't know but anyway, I got my extra three lines nicely uh, installed now. Uh, these two left now, but I'm only going to hook up one. So this one will be for that thing. And maybe also I will hook up another three phase switch under this breaker. I'm going to murder that door, man. Anyway, my wood working shop. Gonna do a full reno on it like I did on the main workshop. I'm not sure when, but um, I also want to have three-phase power in this room. So this breaker will be dedicated for that room. Looking forward for that. Okay, so let's install the three-phase connection now. Basically, I just need to run a wire from here and here and also here to here. And I have the block for it which is this thing, click, I just uh, need the wire. Now this wire, uh, this will not do sadly, because, uh, because it's empty. <laughs> okay, because it has four wires only, but I need five. Also, it would be better if the wire was twisted bare rather than solid. Need to go to the wire shop. I mean, what a wire. This thing is rated up to 700 volts. Wow. So much spark power. You know what? Just make this shorter, man. It doesn't need to be that long.
Urat, nüri. Kõik etid nürilud on kogu aeg. Lõpetas see pullu kündmine ära nüüd ketide. Trying to kind of... Trying to figure out the best way to organize these boys. Most likely I'm not gonna drive very hard. Seven hundred volts. I need seven hundred horsepower to break the ass. Maybe I should use the chainsaw. There's six of them. I don't know what this wire is. Yeah, never. I've never really understood why what this is for. Maybe you guys can clear that up for me. Wire. We got neutral ground, phase one, phase two, phase three, and some rubber thing. Rubber dildo. Anyway guys, voila! But all in all, I think everything should be in order here. Well, if I messed up something, then uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Sai see te sosistate seal. Millest sa räägib üldse? Muudra. Võib küll olla, jah. Läbi. Ta vist vaatasid sinna vaatasin alla. Ma ei ole sinna mitu kuud vaadanud. Sa oled mingi miljon kilometrit sellega juba läbi. Ma võib ära kui mitte ole. Ma ei tea, ootan. Tule ma vaatan. Saab hakkama. Aha. Ah? Mida? Kuidas mul poole siin sees veel ei ole ju? Ma oleks surnud siis. Kui siin pool sees oleks peal. Aga kapis ühe teda. On keeruline või? Sa lähendad lihtsalt värvid kokku ma vahel ja kõik. Narva jõuab ise kohale. Something's broken apparently, so mother is afraid to ask. But let's see what's up. Mis rohkem madala ma ei lähe või? Ma ei ole praegu pannud. Ma pannud nummer kolme peal juba vastu maad ju. No sealt on siit midagi. Oota, ma ikkad siit. Rohkasest ma ei näe, noh, terad on normaalselt paistavad. No mis sealt ta sul teeb?
Well, it seems my worlds are just dandy. <clears throat> they have not snapped. Build feels really, really loose. Even if I tighten that thing up, it's still... What? Seems like a bearing problem. There appears to be a brake on it or something. Man, I was sure it was a bearing. Whoops. Either I'm deaf now, or that fixed it. See on munakub kannatus katkema, no ta ei lähe sisse sinna. Bro, it shouldn't take 30 minutes to get that freaking spring on. As it leaves another day. You wanna know what I actually did to fix it? Yeah, I just cut the blade a bit shorter. I think I just need a new entire undercarriage for this thing. 
but that also works. Where were I? Somewhere. Okay, need to hook up the late now. This is the old Soviet connection. This needs to get lost. Oh boy. Something of a um, surprise here. Actually, not really, maybe a little bit. You can see that there's two wires on each connection. And uh, that's because uh, this lathe, it does not only have one motor. It actually has two motors. So one is the big one, which powers the spindle. And I'm assuming the second one is that, which is uh, best case scenario. I think it's the water coolant system. I'm not sure if that even works. But we did not test it when I bought it. Soviet engineering, guys. Everything's just kind of falls apart. I mean, what the hell? You know what's interesting? This old Soviet connection, it only has four connections, but uh, these newer ones have five. So we got the three phases. And I'm guessing it's not a neutral, but uh, rather uh, earth. Because on the connection there, there is a ground marking. So I, I guess uh, I just leave this one blank right now, the neutral side. I think uh, that's how you're supposed to do it, but uh, I'm not really 100% sure right now. The balance current in all three phases of the motor leads to no current in the neutral. Therefore, there is no need for a neutral in the three phase induction motor. And the neutral point of the star connected motor has no connection with the ground point. Fancy that. So, what that's telling us the blue there, it's not neutral, it's uh, ground. So let's just hook it up to ground. Hmm. Okay. Got this thing on a leash. What a great success. Been a bad boy. And it's gonna get better. But anyway, I think on this end. We're going to square. So, um, two more things to do though. So I got to hook it up from the outside. So I can supply spark to that thing. And another thing was there. These are relatively simple, man. I just uh, need to remove this wire, connect this wire there instead, and then connect this wire and that wire together. And on this end, uh, same deal. Just need to remove this wire and replace it with this wire. wiring in this freaking workshop it's it just kind of blows my mind by now well, which one is it even? I can't tell okay so it's this one
That's pretty good. I don't know guys who made this, but um, let's be honest, this looks like vomit. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more polite, like. I mean, some of, some of those wires, they're just so short, man. I don't have a lot of options here. Whoever made this, um, not great. It works, but it's just not great. Some of those wires, they were not long enough. They're just kind of very short. So I did the best I could with uh, the wires I had, I guess. But anywho, let's fire some sparks. Works. Ei, rikke valu kaitsele välja. Aaaa. Okei, so the moment I plug in the machine, the fault current protector triggers. They kind of triggered at the same time. Maybe the problem is here, but then... I don't think so. Wait a minute, let's, uh, let's check the other connections that I did. See if we have power there. So the welding table should be under that switch box now okay so that works the outside cardboard lights Nothing. Wait, did I switch it off? Genius. Oh, oh, so I guess that works. One, one more thing, uh, this one here. Why isn't the clock working? The clock should be on the new switch as well. Nope. So one of the connections isn't working. Hmm. Where's my spark? So this is the welding table. Mm hmm. So this is the lights. Yeah, that also works. So this one should be the clock and the charging station over there. Zeros. Phase one, check, 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 outbound, check, 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 mm -hmm. see this. Check. Huh. What's going on? We have face here, but why don't we have it here? Okay, that's tight. Bro, that's tight. 
What is going on? Maybe it was maybe it was back in that plastic area there. You know, maybe that was the case, yeah. Yay! So yeah, the wire was actually not in the clamp. Rather it was behind the clamp. In some plastic hotel room. No idea why there's so much room there. So the clock should work now. If the clock works, then also that works. What about the lake though? I'm pretty sure the lake is okay. Before we lift it on the trailer, we fired it up, it worked fine. Before I check anything else, let's uh, see if we have 400 volts on the three phase switch. Four hundred and four. Mm -hmm. So this end should be good. Now this lathe originally is rated for 380, 380 volts, but uh, I'm pretty sure it should run on 400 as well. I mean, the wiring for this thing, <laughs> definitely some drunk Russian going on here. A bunch of Soviet crap here. No idea what's what. Yeah, we seem to have a broken fuse here. Maybe it has something to do with that. You know, who cares if the glass is broken? I think somebody, you know what, I think somebody has jerry-rigged this. It's not a fuse anymore, it's pretty interesting fuse, guys. This is some seriously high-tech Soviet stuff. Well, apart from that fuse being kind of weird, uh, everything seems in order. I'm kind of out of ideas right now. Bedtime. You know, the ground fault. Breaker, it can only drip for one reason that there is a fault between ground and face. This is the incoming line, so all the faces are there, and the ground is hooked up to the frame. So, one of these pins um, is neutral and does not do anything, but uh, and that's phase one. Phase two, and they're and they're not shorted, so that's good. Phase three. Okay, so I got all three phases coming through nicely. Um, the ground pin, it should be that one there. I got all three phases, and the ground is also coming through. Let's check for shorts. Good. Mm, great. There we go. We got a short between ground and phase three. That's one of the ways to power the frame with live power. And then you just kind of die. That's why we have breakers. But why? Why are they shorted? Did something happen during the transport? One of the faces is shorted with the ground. Well, I got... <laughs> I got to find the short man. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pull that off. Okay guys, basically I've discovered two faults. It's fairly possible that you even noticed one of those faults. It occurred while I was putting that thing together. But the fault uh, with this thing, I did found one. 
to that in order. Whatever the crap this thing is supposed to be. I'm guessing it's a um, transformer. So this is the live that comes into the transformer and it's shorted out with the frame. So the live comes from this switch. There are three switches here. This one is for the main motor, the big one. This one I'm guessing is the water pump over there because it's a three phase switch, but this is only two phases. So I'm guessing this is a do 20 or do 30 volts. And that voltage goes through here and output should be about 36 volts which uh, should eventually power that thing i mean that's my expert opinion here i'm not 100 percent sure but it kind of makes sense but this transformer is currently shorted internally so the live goes from i'm guessing here to this uh, fuse uh, nope, it was the other one. Oh, this thing is turned off. Freaking genius. So the live goes from somewhere there, ends up here. Then it continues to do this thing. But the live is shorted with the frame. And because this thing was just bolted, to the body of the lathe itself that's why it tripped that breaker over there immediately when i pushed the plug in it detected that fault and um, the breaker did its thing now i don't really need this i can either turn the switch off i'm not planning to use this piece of crap lamp anyway i mean that's why i installed that one there so i don't need this transformer can even Take the fuse out, don't, don't care about it at all. So I can just kind of cut it away from the system. And besides, nothing else is hooked up to the 220 volts. So this whole line here is just a bunch of 220s. Uh, the light switch was somewhere this one, which I disconnected. The water pump is this one. The big motor down there is that one. Or... No, this one. The power comes through these wires, goes... Um, to those two things. And eventually it comes back to these wires and from this get lost. And from these three wires it will go into that thing. So all of that checks out. I went through all of that and it seems fine, it should work. But the moment I turn the machine on. I, I still flip the breaker. I had no idea what might be the issue. I even checked the motor there, if that's shorted somehow, but that's completely normal. Then I focused back on my electrical panel that I built. And I discovered that I made a mistake here. So the mistake that I did here, it's actually pretty silly. I just didn't... Uh, Look at, at it closely enough, I guess. The problem is here. Can you see it? So, basically I have the faces switched with the ground. So apparently the ground comes from up there and goes through one and two. And then it goes there. But, on this breaker it's supposed to come through seven and eight. So these three faces, they actually need to be there, not here. And the ground needs to come through this instead. So basically I just have to 
swap uh, one face and ground up and then in theory this thing should fire up now if it still doesn't work then I pretty much exhausted all my electrical brain power or brain knowledge um, now electrical side I'm not really that great at it out of 10 I would give myself like maybe two because um, of all the electrical work I've done so far A. I'm still alive so that alone has to account for something and B. Nothing has burned down yet <sighs> but anyway basically I just have to switch these two out and move this entire row towards Russia I'm just gonna kind of cherry rig a quick setup here just so I can test it out okay well I redid the panel and also fit my quick oh let's call it cherry rig the panel should be correctly wired now still man flips the freaking breaker kinda starting to lose hope here Everything looks fine, man. The moment I switch the lever on, the power should go from down there to the motor. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the water pump motor. It's also three phase power. So I can. So I'm not sure why it was unconnected. Maybe it's broken or something. nothing now we have we have 400 at output yeah we have 400 volts at output so this this motor has been disconnected from here as well so i'm guessing there was a reason for that and most likely broken. I'm not gonna dive into this right now. Bro, I have no idea. It should work. The moment I flip the switch, the, the thing just doesn't work. Maybe, maybe, maybe the guy that had it didn't use a fault circuit protector. I mean, that may be the case, but I don't really wanna use this machine without one. I wonder what that switch there is. Tiny little switch. Kind of a mystery. Hmm. The thing made a sound. For a moment there it made a sound. Okay guys, so got another update for you. I got the guy who sold me the lathe. I asked him if he had a fault circuit protector. He said no. Addition to that one of my neighbors, who is an electrician by trade. He checked this box out, said everything is in order, and he also said that it's very likely possible that this thing um, can't install it with that breaker this thing is extremely sensitive if it senses i don't know something then it will trigger immediately and considering this is a soviet piece of crap then it's very likely these two will not go together so he suggested to bypass this thing and give it direct power well not direct direct actually through this breaker so there will be at least something in between so i'm gonna do what he suggested and then finally hopefully we'll get to fire this thing up so i'm gonna use this breaker but i can't use this to power the lathe so 
instead I'm gonna install a dedicated switch or, or socket which will not have that thing hooked up to it, sadly. Sure, I know safety becomes a factor. If the power does not go through the fault detector, but it's extremely possible that I can't fire this thing up without doing that. I could probably do it, but I would most likely need to rewire everything there. I have, I have to make sure that uh, the thing is completely leak proof. Currently, I cannot guarantee that. I just have to make this a bit shorter, like cut it off from this point. Okay, that sorts these breakers out. This one will be dedicated for the lathe and it will not go through that thing. This is probably extremely boring, guys, but don't worry. Maybe we'll even see some sparks. All I hope is that thing will just turn over. Now, if this does work and the machine starts, Every time I use it, I need to make sure that the body of the machine is not live. That's really important. You may die if you don't do that. That's, that's what this thing is for. It's meant to save lives. Stick your finger in a socket. This thing will save your life. You will maybe, maybe have a small burn, burn mark, but that's about it. Where am I gonna put this thing? That should do it. I know I've said it a lot during this video, but that should really do it. It's humming at me. I'm guessing these are the gears. Um, I think. Oh. So it should work like that. Did you feel that inertia? I think this is the maximum speed.
Bro, that is so scary. I don't think I will ever need that. Oh yeah, by the way, it works now. So this thing um, can't be hooked up to a fault circuit protector, sadly. It needs to be directly baby fed. What a bummer. So I had to spend like a week troubleshooting this thing. But all I had to do was just directly feed it. No, it's con considerably more dangerous to use this thing without that uh, breaker though. So I have to take some precautions for sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna um, some really decent rubber coat or like a rubber mat in front of the lathe. So at least I will not be standing on the concrete. And I should probably also check periodically if this thing is, uh, well, if uh, the live has not contact at the frame somehow. It's kind of unlikely, but uh, it may happen considering the electronics of this thing was probably put together by some drunk Aljoha or some crazy Ivan. Then there's really no uh, way to make sure that this thing is safe. But at least the thing works. Took me forever to figure that thing out. Also, kudos to my neighbor for suggesting that solution. So I guess this is the gearbox for speed. Personally, I don't have a clue what these do. I, I know. Apparently nothing. Nothing. I'm just gonna stuck in one spot. Did it break it? Oh, it was not in gear. Like basically, this does nothing. I don't know. What about this thing? Absolutely nothing. This seems to be some sort of adjustment valve. I think I need to get a manual for this thing. What about this thing? That doesn't move. That moved. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, so gearbox, nothing, nothing, no idea. Uh, dis disengage the gearbox, I guess, and no idea. That thing worked. The guy showed me, but I think you need to fiddle with this somehow to make it work. Yeah, bro, I have no idea. The guy showed me this, when he pulled these levers, this thing moved automatically that way or that way. I'm probably missing something, I don't know. But it's fine, I do have hands still. So I can just manually move the thing around, I guess. Maybe you guys have some ideas. I'm pretty much just gonna wrap this video up now. I think it's a bit too long. At least we got the thing working.
I'm gonna take a little boss from this thing. Uh, got some other crap to do right now. But um, I do plan to do a follow-up video for this thing. Um, I wanna get those working if possible. And try to mend some of the electrical work on this thing. I'm betting I can do maybe a better job than some random drunk Alioha. I mean, that looks pretty bad. So, yeah. Awful. Also, maybe I can get this thing to work. Kind of seems like a long shot though. So, yeah. Bye bye. Basically, guys, I have no idea what I did. I was just fiddling with all those levers. Not really sure which one I pulled, but uh, check this out. <laughs> Catastrophic success. Wow.